Actually, people are becoming more frightened, they tell me, to be down here in this Portland neighborhood. They say sirens are happening more frequently, and they're not sure what's in store for Portland's future. It was just chaos. Naomi Lake had just landed in Portland for her nephew's wedding. When she tried to check into the Moxie Portland Hotel, she was greeted by police. And they wouldn't let us come in the front door. And there was police tape everywhere, and they wouldn't let us come in because it was an active crime scene. Thursday morning, Moxie staff were busy repairing and covering broken windows. And their visitors are seeing Portland in a different light after three downtown homicides over four days. I've been here before, and I really enjoyed it. Now I don't know if I want to stay down here. Do we have to close the business? Are we safe down here? So. Workers are anxious, too. What am I risking, you know, coming down here every day to work? Um, Jordan Hyder has worked down the street at Wild Fang for a year. She's gotten used to hearing sirens. We just heard a whole bunch of um, patrol cars, ambulance, but that's just a normal day down here. At first, she thought nothing of the noise, though that's changed. Uh, it just makes me a little more uneasy. Still, despite the nearby shooting, Hyder says she's optimistic for the future of downtown. I think that we have a good group that really want to, you know, get people back into the area. But every day it's like, what am I going to see? What's going to happen? You know, it's making me a little more uneasy traveling down here every day. So. A little more uneasy, like many living or visiting Portland. I mean, I don't want to scare tourists away, but it, it kind of scared me being a tourist. And as a tourist, Lake says this is her last time staying down here. Next time she plans to stay outside of the downtown area, something many are already doing. Brittany, Ashley. Thomas, thank you.